Hello everybody, happy Friday. It is another full day of meals. We are going to the pool today. We got it all set up, so still no makeup or anything today because I got it all set up last night. Good girls here. So this is obviously middle of the day, <laughs> or noonish. We're actually about to do lunch, but I'm gonna jump on and show you guys breakfast first, and then we'll go on and continue with lunch. Okay, so I am just now doing the editing, and I realized I don't have a clip for Charles breakfast and lunch. So I'm just gonna tell you real quick. I sent him, um, I guess I just didn't record it, but I sent him a banana and a yogurt, He's next to me, but he's got a headache, so we're not showing him. And I sent him the leftover cheeseburger pie from last night and some cherry coffee cake, cookies, peanut bar. Did I send you anything else? Peanuts, I think. Oh, and some honey roasted peanuts. That's what I gave Charles. Now here's what everybody else had. I'm going to start with some frozen bananas. Peanut butter powder. I like to mix that with peanut butter because it gives it a rich peanut buttery taste. This is frozen coconut chunks. You can omit that part or you could just use some unsweetened cocoa or coconut. And then some brown sugar. Vanilla. Little cinnamon. And then I'm using soy milk because that is what my girls like, but any kind of milk works just fine. Just a little because you want it to be thick and creamy. We are making banana ice cream. A sprinkle of chocolate chips, blend it all up, and this is what it looks like when it's done. And this is for Brooke, Ash, Katie and Theo will share one. Is that banana ice cream delicious? I love banana ice cream. Mommy's so good to me. She feeds it to me good. And Ron's gonna have oatmeal, right babe? Yeah. Okay, and this is my breakfast. It is going on nine, and I just have not been wanting breakfast lately, so I'm trying to make myself have something. So I'm gonna have these little, um, two scrambled eggs with some cheese, cream cheese, milk, salt, and pepper. I was gonna have sausage links, but they have disappeared. So, I'm sure my son got them in the night. <laughs> so Luke just woke up. Say good morning, friends. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And this is what he put on. He loves <laughs> the playlist that we put up. So he will just sit and watch and he likes to look at all the pictures. Okay, ignoring the toothbrush, I just got done brushing Link's teeth because he just got up. He is having a waffle, craisins, strawberries, and apple. And his juice is the pomegranate blueberry VHU fusion. <laughs> no sugar added. 
This has apples, sweet potatoes, pomegranates, blueberries, purple carrots, carrots, and apples. I thought I would show you guys real quick what I'm packing in the pool bag as far as snacks go. Um, because once we get there, you know, who knows? Everybody will probably run and snack at their own pace. So let me just show you real quick. I'm going to set it out and then I'll pack it all up. Okay, so this is my little pool bag. And in here, I already have three of these juicy juice boxes. And then I'm taking three waters because I will take my own drink. I'm going to make what's called a singing canary and take that with me. I'll show you guys that after I make it. Then I just have some pretzels. I'm going to take four apples, some carrots and peas. These are the Nova Scotia oat cakes that we made in the meal prep day. This is for Luke, peanut butter sandwich. And I don't know if I showed or not, but a baby food for Theo. And then this big bag that I'd gotten on clearance of cranberry rush trail mix. Peanuts, raisins, cranberries, cashews, almonds, looks like. And then a variety of chocolate chips and white chocolate chips. So we're gonna take that too. Up oh, and string cheese, I just forgot to grab it. And there's the cheese sticks. So I'm gonna get all that into this bag. All right, so this is what the kids are gonna have real quick. This is the sheet pancakes that I made. I'm gonna put some syrup on those. I made those in the meal prep. And then these are Morningstar Farm um, sausages for the girls. And they have a few of these peanut butter balls left. So they're gonna eat on that real quick. And I'll show you my lunch in a second. And Luke, of course, is having pizza. All right, and this is my lunch. It's called a Waldorf cottage cheese salad. So it's got a sprinkle of walnuts on here. It's got a whole apple cut up. It's got a stock of celery cut up. And then the cottage cheese on top. And it's a low fat cottage cheese. This would be considered a carb meal because of the apple. So that's why it's a low fat cottage cheese and just a tiny bit of nuts. So Theo ate peanut butter balls, and it looks like you have a pear. <gasps> Delicious. What else do you have? Some sausage and pancakes. So much yumminess. What happened? We're going to go see a bird? You little peanut butter balls. Oh, feeling kind of. You crazy. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished up our lunch. I'm gonna make my drink real quick to take with me to the pool. And um, then we're gonna head out to the pool, but I also wanted to say Luke is doing fabulous again today on the potty. Zero accidents going by himself without anybody I'm telling him. I think what happened is the day we had to go to the doctor, I put him in a diaper to go to the doctor because, and I'm glad I did, because it was such a meltdown and just so traumatic that to try and do the potty on top of that would have just been like over the top for me <laughs> for me <laughs> but when we got back home he wanted it off he did not enjoy having a diaper on him which i think made him maybe realize that hey i like the underwear better so he still wears one at night i am putting him in one when he goes to bed because I don't need anything extra waking him up. So if he were to wet himself and wake up, that would be it for me. We'd be up all night and I need whatever sleep I can get. I need it. So when I know there's a very, very slim chance of him waking up wet, then I'll stop. But for right now, as soon as he got up this morning, he pulled it off and he said, I need my underwear. So yay. Can we say happy dance, happy dance? Yes, I'm so happy. All right, I'm gonna make my drink real quick. I'll show it to you guys. I'm not gonna give you the recipe because you know it's from the Trim Healthy Mama book and I don't think I'm supposed to like share that recipe with you. But this one is supposed to be fix your adrenals and everything. It's called a singing canary. It's full of turmeric, lemons. I'm trying to remember. It's got a little bit of protein powder in it. And I can't really remember what else. I can tell you. So it has lemons, water, turmeric, a little MCT oil, which is supposed to be good for you, and aid in weight loss, some protein powder, collagen, a little bit of salt, vanilla, stevia, 
and that's it because I don't have vitamin C powder which it says you can put into but it's supposed to kind of repair you especially if you are going through a lot of stressful times or you are doing a lot of no sleep which when I read that I thought that's the drink for me <laughs> so I'm gonna make it I'll let you guys know what I think of it and the kids are already getting in their bathing suits so we are out of here in just a minute so this is what it looks like you guys it's actually pretty good Pretty tasty. I'm gonna put it though in this container so that I've got it for the pool. Okay, we are headed to the pool. As you see, this is what a pool ride looks like. <laughs> we are trying to fit all the floats in <laughs> and everything. <laughs> are we good in the back? Let's get it going. I'll see you guys when we get there and I'll try and show you the pool. Panoramic view. All right, we are done at the pool, and they're trying to figure that? out how to get these back in here. Did everybody um, love it and have a fabulous time? Yeah. Here. Luke asked over and over to go to the loo. <laughs> I had to laugh at that. So I just stayed in my clothes. I didn't even get changed because I just had to keep running him to the bathroom. But no complaints there. Totally, totally happy with it. So it is a little after three. We're going to go home, everybody shower, and then we'll start making dinner. That's the plan. All right, what do you want to say? Oh. Very important thing is, this is we're ending the video. Because we're going to cook dinner in two days. And that was our video. Oh, just like, just like and subscribe to our channel. Ooh. So see you next time. So I just got a message that I got a package. Girls are doing dishes. Ash is making a snack for herself and I'll thank some others. Theo's snacking. Luke's having a peanut butter sandwich because he's hungry and wants a snack. Charles is almost home. It's about 3.30. I'm going on for so I'm gonna put on my sweats. I've gotten in my pajama pants already because I just got out of the tub from being at the pool and I thought, oh, I'll just stay home and chill now. No, I will put on my pants and go see a package we got so I can open it for you guys before I throw the chicken in. We are doing chicken leg quarters tonight. And then I haven't decided on the vegetable. I was thinking maybe Brussels sprouts and carrots but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see what I make. Okay, so I did not make it to the P.O. box. <laughs> and I'm doing this as I'm editing because I forgot I said I was going to run there. But I'm going to go first thing in the morning because Charles got home and then Luke wanted our attention and Charles wanted to talk to me about his day. Then it was time to throw in dinner and honestly, I'm just too tired tonight. And I'm ready to just chill and cuddle up with Charles and watch a movie and as soon as I'm done editing. So I am going to go tomorrow and get my package first thing in the morning. I promise. Okay, it is 4.30, 4.48 actually, so it is time to start dinner. So we are gonna make some chicken leg quarters. There's the ash, they're starving, they're still eating because they got home <laughs> from the pools. I don't even know how much dinner they're gonna eat, but. Let's get started making these chicken leg quarters. So after I lay all the chicken out, I'm gonna set that aside and get a bowl to make the topping or the rub that I'm gonna put on it. I'm gonna start by melting some butter. And then I'm gonna add Nice spices. This is a chipotle rub, but any kind of chipotle seasoning would work. Smoked paprika. Easy, easy on our tiptoes 
And this is stevia, and that's because I'm following Trim Healthy Mama, but you could use any kind of sweetener that you prefer. Honey, brown sugar, white sugar, anything you like. And then some cumin. And then I just give it a mix, and I'm gonna rub that in really good on one pan of the chicken. And then the other pan of chicken, I'm just gonna add some barbecue sauce, just store-bought barbecue sauce. It's one of Charles' favorite ways to have it. And then I'm baking all of this at 375 for about an hour. Okay, it is another hour probably before dinner, so I'm gonna eat this yogurt real quick from my snack. Okay, so why I am doing dinner, it is actually just got done, so I'm gonna go call Charles in for it. He is out working in the garage. Here he is. So how's it going in here, babe? Slow but sure. Pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. That's a mess. That's a mess. Oh, but look over here. <laughs> Looking better. good. Looking good. All right, time for dinner. Okay, so this is dinner tonight. So the chickens are done. That's the spicy chicken. The barbecue chicken. Then there is mac and cheese, a salad, some Morning Star Farm um, corn dogs for the girls, and some rice. All right, and for those of you curious as to what I'm doing, I'm doing the chicken, and then I made a big salad with some ranch and some feta cheese, and that's what I'm having. All right guys, so that wraps everything up for tonight. We're gonna go on and eat dinner, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Saturday, another full day of meals. All right, bye everybody.